Hey, 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 it's the boat doctor down here at the gas station. We're gonna put in about uh, 50 gallons of uh, non-ethanol. We got a T99 remote, 11 by seven, total salt water protected. You got a 200 inline variable camshaft timing. Uh, the horsepower here is 2200 when it kicks in. Most boats 38 to 44. You got a 15 pitch prop on here, aluminum right hand, stainless cross shaft drive shaft on both of these. Internal zincs and every cylinder on the block, zinc there, zinc there, zinc everywhere. Uh, fresh water flush, do not start the motor when you hook your uh, hose up to that. That's the back, that there's a backstop. Right here, and like I say, these got a 100 gallon tank, so you, you got some long range and they get great fuel economy. Tie bar, hydraulic steer, you got uh, trim tabs, you got an action, all three in one. You got trim right there. Nicely rigged down up underneath there's how you get to the bilge pumps until you get to the seacog valve uh, for the live well drain plug trim tabs 2023 already wow I like your crab grab it that's a must down under your pads I like the gray that's really nice sliding windows hard top bulkhead door rear deck steering wow the good in 10 and 5227 probably black XT uh, tan maxo trail trailer double galvanized uh a little 220 hard top and it's 24 8 all the way here 102 on the beam and uh let me see you got dead rise i believe it's 14 by 21 by 35 you got a bottom gauge is 190 you got a bottom width on the width of the bottom is 84 125 125 uh 35 inch sides and I think the dry boat weights about 33, 3400 pounds on this. Anyway, sliding windows, roof rails, plates where they belong. One, two, three. Uh, Colton two speed jack, love those. You don't bust on, you got that extra speed. So when it's pulled out, you can pull it out where you put your finger in between that, that goes into the reduction. Keel roller, of course, that's a nice, strong keel. Right there, you don't need that roll. That's just if you smooth the trailer so it doesn't hit the cross member. Swing tongue, top mount coupler. So generally, from the ground up, about 21, 22 inches. Uh, ooh, two and five six tension ball. I have to change that. Huh. Hey, that would have been a blooper. You got cables for safety chains. Uh, so if they start cracking there, that's when the time to change them. Uh, point one for a heading sensor for the Lowrance. Dual wipers. Boom, boom. Front entry door. Good bath oil hub. Ground good. White bath. Five lugs. About 80 pound torque for the axles. Uh, if they get white, you better uh, check out the seals. And you fill them from right here. Regular 90 weight. And then you can use the ladder or you can get from right here. Step up. Batteries underneath there. Ooh, just whacked my head. Crab dab it. Electric. And let it fall down. Trim here for the clicker. Remote does both. And over here's your battery switches. Right here. And your relays. And those there. Fly wheel. Uh, insulated fish box, 10 micron Yamaha, change out once a year, stick with Yamaha, they got a heavier paper element, uh, they got like five paper elements in them, most of them only got one to two, the primer bulb here, this here, when that's pointed that way, that's going to drain into the bilge, if you got it in line with the hoses, you go over here and you hit the fish box and that drains it, here's your other primer bulb for your kicker, battery, fish box, Lockable. Storage. Nice two for six people. You got right here suspension seats, sliders, swivels, live well. You have to have that switch on in the back where that light is. I don't know if you can see it. And that to have the live well work. Courtesy lights on the side back there. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, horn, nav lights work. 
wipers work up is that one down both bilge fuel gauge hds9 live trim tabs lorance now this should ais i'll check when i'm out there trim tabs fuel gauge yep we're getting some fuel all right this is beautiful you got all the lights if you go courtesy lights and go down it'll lighten those up for you and even put boxes there grab rails there trays grab rails curtain for a porta pot you know changing area i guess you take that off and stand inside there hey that'd be an idea if you want to use it for a changing area close the curtain pull that up stand in there and change i didn't see a porta pot in here so i don't know if it comes with it or not so and the sleeper seats and the rear deck you got that can always be added later okay 2020 you guys are going to enjoy this i'm going to set up your ramps when i'm out there um but you're going to love the ride on this one that rear deck's awesome down the road if you ever want to put another unit in you could put another one right there like one of those tie them together and you can see everything there you add autopilot you can control it from back there oh god